Ladies and gentlemen, it is your amazing host here. It is Team Rai Rai. And how is everyone doing on a Sunday's edition? I am doing splendid. Now, this is the video about Money at Bank review. This is my review. So sit back, relax, put your feet out, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and this subject, and let's get the bad boy started. Oh, by the way, I do have social media accounts, and I'll discuss that after my review of Money in a Bank. Okay, Money in a Bank is now in the books. Now the we can concentrate about the next pay-per-view called SummerSlam. And it's not in August. For some reason, it's the end of, almost the end of July. Can anyone tell me why does WWE have two pay-per-views in one month? So does that mean nothing's happening for WWE in, in uh, August? That makes no sense. Can someone please explain? I prefer having SummerSlam in August. They should just stick with that. Okay, let me discuss this the best that I can. What was the first match? Oh yeah, the first one was the women's money in the bank match. They had some good spots and of course some botching, okay? It's okay, it happens. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's no such thing as a perfect ladder match. It happens. And out of the blue, Lee Morgan got her opportunity because way before that, she had opportunities after opportunities after opportunities, and guess what? It never happened for her. And I had a feeling it's gonna happen on pay per view or however you say it these days. They're not gonna do it on Raw because it's free TV. They're not gonna do it on SmackDown. You get the drift. So this is a perfect time, perfect fit for her. She clawed, she scratched, and she had her opportunity. Now she said, when she won the briefcase in the interview, says maybe I will cash it in on at Mania. And I said to myself, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. So and then the next one was a championship match. Was the WWE uh, US title match. It was Bobby Lashley versus Theory. Of course, Theory was a champion. He had had it for a while. I, I don't like Theory at all. You know, I know he's very, as McMahon's um, golden child, however, just like what happened back in the day with Drew McIntyre. How long did that last? Exactly. Um, so Theory got the demolish. It was a very good match. I'm very surprised. The second match to kick off uh, Money in the Bank. I loved it, you know? Awesome, okay? So, Bobby won. How long is he going to keep that belt? It all depends on WWE, you know? I love Bobby, but will he be, will he hold it until, like, after SummerSlam? Or will he drop it tomorrow night on Raw? Who knows? Okay, next one is the Raw Women's Championship match. You got Blanca Belair versus Camilla. I did not really... Feel this match because the original game plan was Ripley, but I guess she has a um, what head concussion, so you need to take care of that more than competing. So I guarantee you Ripley will get her opportunity maybe at SummerSlam or sometime in the fall. I guess she'll be, be back in action. So this match was not that great. Camilla, she's very beautiful, but I think she needs more training, ship her to NXT, but it won't happen probably. I'm sorry. I think. The reason we W is very weak in the women's division. Bailey's still out of injury. Probably should be back soon. I don't know what's really going on with Sasha Banks and her tag team partner. That's a huge hole. But that that is W's fault. They don't make new stars. They rely on these Bailey, uh, Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, Ronda Rousey, and the list goes on and on. You know what I'm saying? It is so. Sad, I'm thinking, for women's division. They ne they're never going to fix that women's division, ever. I'm sorry. They could complain all they want on social media, and they're not going to do nothing. I'm sorry. 
This one is for both belts for the tag team, you know, for the Raw and SmackDown because they combine it. The Usos versus their Street Posse is a very great match. The ending, the show is up for the Street Profits, and you can see that they will continue that. And they did not restart the match for some stupid reason. So probably they're going to have a rematch, maybe on Raw, on free TV, or at SummerSlam in a few weeks. Do it at SummerSlam, okay? The biggest event of the summer. I would do it at SummerSlam. And let this time, let the Street Profits dethrone the Usos. How long they have the belts? Exactly. It's time for new champions. I'm sorry. Next one. It's another championship match. Man, a lot of title matches. And this is not neither champions. I don't I don't like this at all. They should just have like money bank for women's, then a non title match. You know what I'm saying? Just um break it even. You know, like have more title matches at SummerSlam or even in WrestleMania. But this is just money in bank. But I, I totally understand where they're going with this. Okay, now this one um, what am I going to say here? The SmackDown Women's Championship match. You got Ronda Rousey versus Natalya. This is a very bad match. I did not care for this match at all. Ronda Rousey beats Natalya. Big flipping deal. But, out of the blue, Lee Morgan cashes in. Almost, almost did not successful cash in because... Look like Ron Rousey was going to make her tap, but uh, Lee Morgan reversed it, and she got a one, two, three. She had a great moment, and uh, I'm very happy for her. But before that, I guess is a, a video online. Maybe that could be Edge, because you can see um, Kurt Angle's medals, Latino's hate, um, license plates, um, the Hardy Boys, or maybe Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy's um, uh, gear from back in the day, um, even the Dully Boys glasses. You know, if I mention, if I miss something out, there go. I think it's Edge because he'll have history with those guys. A lot of people think it might be Bray Wyatt. I don't think it might be Bray Wyatt. He had no issues with the people before because most of them guys retired. So I could be wrong, or it could be a huge swerve. We'll find out very soon. Maybe we'll sh maybe we'll find out tomorrow night on Raw. And the announcer didn't say anything about it. Go figure. So I think it's Edge. You know, he's back to being a face, and he's gonna get revenge on um, Finn Balor at SummerSlam. I'm thinking we'll find out what's who's right, who's wrong, because I saw a tweet that Finn Balor. I'm not Finn Balor. Um, Bray Wyatt wants to come back to wrestling, so I doubt he's going to come back to WWE because if he does, WWE's going to do the same thing as before. Don't use him correctly, and people on social media will complain about it. So we'll find out what's going to happen. I think it's Edge. I'd be surprised if Bray Wyatt, aka The Fiend, I'd be surprised. But you never know about WWE. Okay, so Lee Morgan cash in it and become the champion that is awesome you know because i roll up you know so and then the rumor not the rumor the report says there was this close having lee morgan have a failed cash in because so far all women has this very successful cash in so i think eventually um it will not be perfect anymore they did it for the men for a long time you know everybody cashing is very successful until what um bad news bad news barrett cash in or whoever did it and it was a fail, so someone's gonna somebody's gonna do it for the women's in the future. Be unsuccessful. I'm just suing. Now next one for the main event. This one I'm looking forward to. The men's money in the bank briefcase. You know who's in it? And then the guy who came out, I forgot who was in it, Paul Paul Pierce. Oh he's a basketball player. I forgot who did it. He came out saying and said, You guys doing a good job, blah blah blah. And then out of the blue, theory came out. So what? Are you serious? All those guys who qualified and he didn't qualify. I know he's McMahon's um, golden boy or kiss up, whatever. He's very talented and all, all the blue. He is now the 2022 Mr. Money Bank. Will he cash in? 
at SummerSlam between Roman versus Brock in the Last Man Stand match. I'm okay with it because you know why? He's young and he's the upcoming superstar. Because Seth Rollins, those Seth Frick Rollins don't need it. I know he's got to finish the rivalry between him and Roman. I guess that rivalry is over with. Or it could be Riller. I love Matt Riller, whatever you want to call him, but he had his opportunity on, on that SmackDown edition, and then I guess that we don't want to give him the, another opportunity again. So, so we'll find out if Theory is going to have a very successful cash in. I don't know if he's going to do it at some time. I would if I was Theory, or you're going to wait a couple months to do it. You know? Everyone's going to say if Theory's going to cash in, if both guys are out, what is he going to do? Take the opportunity. I doubt it he's going to hold that, the title that long. I doubt it. If he's ever going to cash it in, hopefully. Or, maybe out of the blue, John Cena might screw him out of the title. You know, we'll find out what's going to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. So I'm very happy for Lee Morgan. I'm very happy for Theory Piggy. You know why? Two young people did a good job. They're very young. Both of them won to win the championship. Well, actually... Lee Morgan cashed in the same night like Bailey did a couple years ago. And then speaking of Bailey, I guess there's reports that Lee Morgan might drop it probably at SummerSlam. I think Ron Rousey will get a rematch and probably she's going to win it. And that, whatever. Why you don't give her a long title in WWE? Come on. She's a young up-and-coming superstar. And she claws, she's scratching claws and you don't give her... A long title run. They don't get long title runs when they first cash in. You ever notice that? So I could be totally wrong. So I'm very happy. This car, this show was okay. I mean, there's some good moments. There's some bad moments. But what can you do? So the next one, like I said before, will be SummerSlam. What? July 27th. So close to August. I just prefer just keeping it August. Is this a new thing now? You're going to have SummerSlam in 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 um July instead of August. Can anyone tell me why they have two pay views in July? Can anyone else tell me why do we have um SummerSlam in um July? Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show, the link will be down below. DM me, then you can make arrangements of the Robert Show. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight of the return of Wrestling News and all that mumbo jumbo. Peace out. Take care.